Searchlight is a British magazine, founded in 1975 by Jerry Gable, which publishes exposés about racism, antisemitism and fascism in the United Kingdom and elsewhere. Searchlight's main focus is on the British National Party BNP, Combat 18, the English Defence League EDL, and other sections of the far right in the United Kingdom, as well as covering similar entities in other countries. The magazine is published and edited by Jerry Gable. Topic. History The current Searchlight magazine was preceded in the early 1960s by a newspaper of the same name, edited by left-wing Labour Party members of Parliament Reg Friesen and Joan Lester with Jerry Gable as research director. It ceased publication in 1967, but Gable, Maurice Ludmer and others stayed together as Searchlight Associates before relaunching a regular journal. The pilot issue of the new Searchlight appeared in February 1975, with Maurice Ludmer as its editor. Ludmer and Gable were also amongst the first sponsors of the Anti Nazi League, with Ludmer sitting on its first steering group. In the Ludmer years, Searchlight had a close relationship with CARF, the Campaign Against Racism and Fascism, a magazine published by the London Anti Racist Anti Fascist Co Ordinating Committee, a federation of the anti-fascist committees that had sprung up all over London in the mid-1970s. In 1979 CARF merged with Searchlight to become an insert with separate editorial control at the back of the magazine but this arrangement ended following disagreements in the early 1990s over allegations that Searchlight was promoting pro-Zionist, pro-Israeli groups who the CARF collective regarded as racists. After Ludmer's early death in 1981, British academic Vron Ware briefly took over the editorial role until 1983. The British National Party made a complaint to the Charity Commission of England and Wales about Searchlight and the associated Searchlight Educational Trust. The two anti fascist bodies were investigated as it had been claimed that the Educational Trust had been engaging in political activity incompatible with its charitable status. The Commission's report stated that, in its opinion, the Searchlight Educational Trust had gone beyond the Commission's guidelines on political activities. The charity agreed to follow the Commission's recommendations after the complaint was upheld in 2003 with the Commission deciding that there was a need for a greater distinction between the public activities of Searchlight magazine and the Educational Trust. No action was taken against Searchlight. Searchlight was, consequently, divided into three main bodies, Searchlight Magazine, the monthly anti-fascist and anti-racist magazine, Searchlight Information Services, CIS, a research and investigatory body which briefs governments, politicians, journalists, and the police, and, finally, Searchlight Educational Trust, SET, a charity devoted to challenging and defeating the extremism, racism and fascism. CIS and SET later joined the Hope Not Hate campaign and are no longer associated with Searchlight magazine. Since Searchlight split with Hope Not Hate in September 2011, Searchlight has opposed cooperation with the state. Larry O'Hara commented in a book on political organizations published in 1994. Topic. Criticism In his History of Anti-Fascist Action AFA, author Sean Burkle includes several instances of unreliability and questionable tactics by Searchlight. In the 1990s, Direct Action Movement, which worked with the AFA, was among the first to criticize Searchlight's motives and tactics. Also, in 1984, editor Jerry Gable was commissioned by the BBC to provide research materials for a BBC Panorama program, Maggie's Militant Tendency. The episode was to focus on a claim of right-wing extremism in the Conservative Party. Gable asserted that his research drew upon the information previously published in Searchlight. 
The claims by Gable that two conservative party figures, Neil Hamilton and Gerald Howarth, were secret extremist Nazi supporters was met with libel action against the BBC and Gable. The program had alleged not admitted as evidence in court that Hamilton gave a Nazi salute in Berlin while messing around on a parliamentary visit in August 1983. The Guardian reported that Writing for the Sunday Times after the collapse of the case, he admitted he did give a little salute with two fingers to his nose to give the impression of a toothbrush mustache. Somebody on the trip clearly did not share our sense of humor. He wrote. The BBC capitulated on 21 October and paid the pair's legal costs. Hamilton and Howarth were awarded £20,000 each and in the next edition of Panorama on 27 October, the BBC made an unreserved apology to both. The case against Gable was dropped. Publisher Jerry Gable is known to have links with MI5. His leaked 1977 London Weekend Television memo stated that he had Given names I have acquired to be checked out by British, French security services. A 1987 profile referred to Gable's wide range of contacts, including people in the secret services. Topic. Relations with other anti-fascist groups The magazine has hostile relations with some other anti-fascist groups in Britain. The magazine group was originally part of the steering committee of Unite Against Fascism and resigned their position after differences over tactics. Sonia Gable wrote critical articles on her blog about Searchlight's former creation, Hope Not Hate, a highly visible civil rights campaign from which it split in late 2011. Despite this however, Searchlight magazine maintains friendly relationships with other groups, such as Australia's Fight Dem Back and some other groups. Topic. Informants. Searchlight relies for its material on those involved in the far right. This includes a range of infiltrators, defectors and casual informers. The best known defectors were Ray Hill, and Matthew Collins, now of the Hope Not Hate campaign. Most of its material, however, comes from informers who do so because of feuds with their fellow right-wingers and not from any conviction of Searchlight's cause. In 2013 it was revealed that BNP member Duncan Robertson had been a Searchlight informer, in particular of the new right group. <laughs> Topic. Campaigns In the early years of the 21st century, Searchlight launched two interlinked anti-BNP and anti-racism campaigns, Stop the BNP and Hope Not Hate. Hope Not Hate has received endorsement and national publicity from the Daily Mirror newspaper, and revolves around an annual two-week bus tour in the run-up to local elections. In the 2010 general election campaign, CIS spent in excess of £319,000, primarily targeting the BNP. Since Searchlight split from Hope Not Hate, it has concentrated on publishing the results of its investigation, research and intelligence gathering and supporting direct action against fascist demonstrations, such as those of the English Defence League in Walthamstow on 1 September 2012 and Kelmsford on 18 August 2012. As well as articles exposing the BNP, EDL and the moves towards the formation of a new party spearheaded by the former BNP MEP and veteran fascist Andrew Bronze, Searchlight has focused on the areas where the far-right and conservative ultra-right meet, such as the traditional Britain group, and the new right, the powerhouse of far-right ideological development. Topic. Arts Searchlight has a long-standing affiliation with the arts, which was strongly championed by former editor Maurice Ludmer. 
In the past this included a regular monthly column what their papers say which took a satirical look at the current political landscape. Searchlight runs regular benefit events which feature the work of folk singers, poets and other arts professionals. On 6 January 2014 it launched a new arts section on its website. This opened with the fictional diary of Greg Good, a U.S. national recently moved to London in search of the truth. The column, which runs monthly, features a bizarre blend of rhyming poetry, hyperbolic narrative, and song. In the autumn of 2014, Searchlight launched a standalone online arts magazine called Searchlight Magazine Arts. The site contains interviews, articles, songs, fiction, and documentaries, and celebrates the diverse arts movement in the UK and further afield. The aim of the magazine is to tell the art stories no one else is telling and to put a wry slant on a range of unusual topics and causes. Topic. See also Anti-Defamation League Maurice Ludmer Southern Poverty Law Center Topic. Further reading White Noise by Nick Lowell's, 96 pages, the 13th of November 1998, publisher, Searchlight Magazine Limited. ISBN 0-9522038-39. Searchlight for Beginners by Larry O'Hara, 30 pages, June 1996, publisher, Phoenix Press. ISBN 0-948-984-33-3. From Cable Street to Oldham 70 Years of Community Resistance edited by Nick Lowell's, 165 pages, October 2007, publisher, Searchlight Magazine Limited. ISBN 0-952203871. Notes from the Borderland No. 10, pp. 34-80, by Larry O'Hara and Heidi Svensson, publisher, Larry O'Hara. ISBN 0-9537434-89, which explains in detail the split between Searchlight Magazine and Hope Not Hate.